Hello, friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Daily Events Worldwide, and we are on July 7th, 2023. Welcome to another surviving day on the planet. Welcome to a quick space weather update here for you as we just had a large M-class solar flare in an Earth-facing direction coming from a very large and popular sunspot region, 3354, who has released multiple M-class solar flares over the past few days, continues to spark some energy on our sun. Right here is where the solar flare was detec detected. You can see that was a near X class solar flare. So strong M class solar flare coming from our sun today, producing a CME in an earth facing direction. We'll slow down the view here and have a closer look. Images brought to you by Solar Dynamics Observatory mixed here with daily events worldwide. Amazing images here of a strong M-class solar flare. Having a look at multi-spectrum, there are eight Earth-facing sunspot regions right now, and 3354 has been a concern, expecting strong M-class and X-class solar flares. Looking across the northern hemisphere, a lot of plasma filaments stretching across there. Another look at the M-class solar flare. We did have some activity in the northern hemisphere of our sun, just before that as well, some strong C-class solar flares. We've seen multiple over the, over the past three days, multiple C-class solar flares, long duration. Amazing images here. Earth-facing M-class solar flare. And here's a look at our solar sunspots in motion. Just another way to see how our sunspots are reacting to each other magnetically. And you can see a crusting in the southern hemisphere of our sun, a very large sunspot turning into view. Definitely going to give us a show over this next week. So stay aware and prepared. Space weather conditions still under R1. Radio blackouts detect detected. Strong M-class solar flare today. Geomagnetic activity hopped up to a KP4 overnight, and we are expecting a space weather event from the CME on July 4th. Now on July 9th, we're going to be receiving space weather event from this large CME on July 7th. This is ISWA Space Prediction Spiral showing all of the sun's energies, and there is a large coronal mass ejection heading towards Earth. Expected arrival on the 9th of July but wait for it tonight because we are going to see an aurora across the northern hemisphere and partial southern hemisphere, but mostly across Russia and western parts of North America. But definitely going to see a show tonight. Northern lights, probability of aurora, 10 to 20 percent across most of northern Canada through the prairies and then through B.C. later in the night. Much love, everybody. Hope you enjoyed this update. Stay aware, prepared, stay young, and have fun, and get your daily due. We'll see you next video. Bye-bye now. If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button, subscribe, share with your friends and family from across the world.